What is up, Pokemon people? This is Michael Sean from Unison Games, and if you are watching this video, somebody has won the Rebel Clash giveaway. That's right, this box right here, obviously this video was made previous to it being released. Um, this box has been shipped or delivered to somebody that was a subscriber on my channel and that commented on all the Rebel Clash opening videos. So hey, why not celebrate the Build and Battle Box giveaway with opening some of the Build and Battle Boxes ourself. Now I already started the process to the classic off of these, but I'm hoping that in these five boxes we can get all four promos and uh, we get a chance to see what everything looks like. So I'm going to stack these things over here. Now I don't want to hold this thing up. I am going to be giving away some codes today. They come at random times throughout the video, so be sure to um, you know, stay on until the end of the video so that you can see and get some codes. So let's take a look at what's actually in these boxes. If you're not familiar with these, um, the Pokemon Company uses them for, they're for limited events, pretty much the only limited event other than the ones that I personally run at Unison Games. Uh, they're all just pre-releases, but you can actually sanction limited events as well which is what I do at Unison Games. Um, so you get yourself like a little building tips thing in case you're like a newer player. You get this nifty box here, which is actually, I'm actually gonna put this aside uh, for somebody that I know that needs one. Then you get yourself an evolutions pack. It starts with your promo. Wow, these things are loose. Loose, loose, loose. We don't like loose because there's a higher risk of the cards moving around and getting themselves beat up. So Rebel Clash in general has had loose products, which is not the greatest. Um, but you start out with this promo, and in this Evolutions pack, there's actually like a deck core uh, to borrow language that other people have used. It's also a uh, code, and you guys can have this one for Rebel Clash Build and Battle Box Online. It comes with an Evolutions pack that you open. You get one of the promos, and you get everything else that's in here. So um, have at it. Then you also get yourself four Rebel Clash packs. So let's take a look at this. So we have the, our Luxray promo, which is uh, pretty cool. I really like the art on it. And then you just get like random cards from the sets or from previous sets that help you to build your deck. So Speed Lightning Energy, Hop, Milo, a couple of Shanks, a couple of Luxios, and a couple of regular art Luxrays. And then this one looks like it comes with a random Trubbish, Evolution Incense, Sonya, Hop, and then just a line of Grimmsnarl, which is kind of interesting, kind of cool. Grimmsnarl is fun. So the idea here is that they give you a couple lines of Pokemon that you can then uh, use and some trainer cards. Trainer cards are obviously the most important part because most packs only have one or two trainer cards in them. So the trainer cards help you get rolling and then they give you that. And that kind of becomes like the core of your deck and what you open in the other packs is stuff that you can add to it make it even better, maybe take it in a different direction, uh, whatever that is. So um, here we go. So let's go ahead and put those off to the side. We did get our Luxray promo. We'll kind of feature that in our lineup. And then let's uh, bust open these packs. Yeah, we got to save the, uh, the Toxtricity for the end. That is our pack art of choice. So sometimes these packs are boosted as far as their pull rate. Uh, or at least it seems like. So we'll see if that's the case with Rebel Clash. All right, we got Psychic Energy, Hatrum, Karkul, Beware, Lotad, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Reverse Hollow Magmar, and Zacian. So in this pack, during a pre-release or another sealed event, we might consider playing like this Voltorb just because it has it's lightning, so we so it goes with the rest of our deck, or beware if we get a stuffle, stuff like that. You know, you just kind of synergize with what you get. Let's crack another pack, though. And remember, in limited events, you only have to build a 40-card deck, so you're not as... Um, you don't need as many good cards. You got Metal Energy, Lombre, Galar Mine, probably a card that we would play. Durant, another card that we would play for gathering food. Galarian Corsola, Toxel, Galarian Mr. Mime, Snover, Pidov, Dracloak, and Galarian Darminitan. Of course, even if you get stuff that has other types but that can attack for colorless energy, that's stuff that you might consider playing. Um, even just cards that have high HP, um, you might consider playing one of those just, just for the sake of... Um, 
you know, getting, getting, uh, locking your opponent into not being able to do anything. So we have grass energy, more room, which is cool because we, we have more of that in our pack. Full heal, training court, great, great card. Toxel, Galarian Mr. Mime, Snover, Pit of, Galarian Darumaka, Scyther, and Dragapult V. So this, if you pull this, basically you're saying, okay, I'm going to be building Psychic into my deck because uh, pretty much if you pull a card that's really good, like Dragapult V, you want to be playing it in a sealed environment. So that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and stick that in our lineup. Pretty sweet. All right. Let's take a look at our last pack. We can get the Dragapult V Max. That'd be cool. Here's a code for you guys. You want to take a closer look at it? Lift it up for you. Do it up. All right. We got Fire Energy, Electrode, Tool Scrapper, great card. Curse Shovel, fine and limited, I guess. Galerian Darumaka, Hatana, Scyther, Nosepass, Wingle, Reverse Hollow Trubbish, and Ludicolo. Sweet. Very cool. All right, so out of that box, we kind of talked a little bit about what's included in these boxes, how limited events work. Um, let's just go ahead and open the other ones, mostly just looking at the product. We're going to go a little faster through them uh, now that we've kind of seen what's included. So let's take a look. Our promo for this one is going to be Colossal, which is kind of cool. Let's take a look at what's in that pack. All right. So we got Colossal. And then we got, obviously, his pre-evolutions. Oh, Quick Ball, that's a really good card to get in these. Sonya is another good card to get in these. Barboash, Wish Cash, Trubbish, Evolution Incense, Sonya, Milo, and then another Grimmsnarl line. So they just like the Trubbish, the one Trubbish and the, the Grimmsnarl. So I, actually, that that doesn't really seem like the greatest, <laughs> the greatest mode of play because Colossal has an ability that accelerates fighting and fire energy, so you really don't want to be playing it with dark Pokemon. So let's see if we get stuff that's better to play with Col Colossal in our packs, even though we are just mostly looking for product at this point. All right, here we go. Got fire energy, Lampent, Halucha, Morgrum, Impidimp, Shinx, Sandy Gast, Roly Coley, that's really nice because Colossal is the one that we got. So we got an extra pre evolution. Stunky, uh, Nose Pass, and Barbarical. If we get a Binacle, that could be cool to play with our Colossal as well. Speaking of that, let's put our Colossal over in the lineup. All right. Take a look here. We got Psychic Energy, Masquerain, Hatrim, Carcol, more pre evolutions for our guy, Galerian Corsola, Binacle, so we can play that Barbarical now, Scyther, Volibi, Dreepy, Galerian Yamask, and Butterfree. Cool. So actually, this is shaping up to be pretty cool um, if we were actually in a limited event. Let's go ahead and rip this one. Now, this one is. Tearing in weird ways for us. There we go. All right. Metal Energy. Another Carcoal. Hat Rum. Pokeball. Magmar. Galarian Mask. Surskit. Stuffle. Coughing. Unpheasant. And Seismitoad. More pre evolutions for our Colossal. And uh, no hits so far. Uh, as far as ultra rares or anything like that, let's see if Toxtricity V Max has her back. All right. We got a Water Energy, Skun Tank, Full Heal, Sonia, Temple, Trubbish, Helioptile, Hone Edge, Litwick, Reverse Hollow Growlithe, and Copperaja V Max. Unfortunately, not one that we would be able to play. In the situation, but it is cool to pull Copperaja V Max. We like Copperaja V Max a lot. Um, he's just like a big tanky Pokemon. That honestly, his attacks are pretty good too. So, so that's pretty cool. 
So, so far, we got one ultra rare out of uh, each box. Let's go to the next one, see if we can improve our stats any. All right. We got another Colossal out of this one. Colossal's cool. I'm okay with that. You know what, actually, though? I'm going to go ahead and not open this. And the reason for that is because I actually use, like, sealed evolutions pack, evolution packs, which is what they refer to these as. I actually use them for prize support a lot at Unison Games for, like, free events or, like, very low entry events. Um, they're really... I like them. I like them as prizes a lot. Um, I wish I would get them as prizes sometimes. I, I'm kind of the only one that I know that does that. Um, but it's a, a decent amount of cards that you would get at like a free tournament for coming in first place or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually just set this to the side. Uh, and we'll, But we'll still crack the packs, of course. So we got gypped out of a, uh, um, a Rillaboom pack. No Rillaboom VMAX artwork in this one. That's okay. We'll forgive them. If they give us an actual Rillaboom VMAX, I would be okay with that. Let's take a look. Here's a code for you guys. I don't think I gave you a code out of the last box, so definitely take this one. Boom. All right, we got Fighting Energy. So we're looking for Colossal cards right now. Nugget. It's a great card in, in a pre-release situation. Skuntank, Lotag, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Reverse Hollow Trubbish, and Ninetales. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Not really anything that goes with the Colossal, though. But still cool. I mean, Colossal does accelerate fire energy, too, so I guess you could play Ninetales. All right, we got Halucha, Indeedy, Chargebug, Electabuzz, Squovit, Snover, Natu. This is actually a great, like, limited card where you just draw a card for one energy. It's kind of cool. It's colorless energy, so it goes in anything. Palpitoad and Diggersby and a metal energy. Do we have two energies in that pack, or did I just do the pack trick wrong? I just did it wrong. That's all right. All right, moving on to the Cinderace VMAX pack. Let's see if we can pull something good out of here. All right. We got Fire Energy. That's not fire, that's water. What am I talking about? Water Energy, Morgrim, Palpitoad. Scoop Up Net is an amazing card all the time, so we definitely play that. Nose Pass, Wingle, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel. Reverse Hollow Shinx, and a Hollow Luxray to go with our Luxray promo that we got earlier. And do we get... We didn't get uh, a Luxio, so we probably wouldn't try to play it. All right, let's take a look at this. So we got a Lightning Energy. Got a Bronzong. Milo. Shuckle. Bunnelby, so we could play that Diggersby that we got. Phantom. Dreepy, Galarian Farfetched, Hone Edge, Squovit, and a Full Art Dragapult V. That's awesome. I love the artwork on this thing. Dragapult V apparently likes to hide out in these building battle boxes. Um, we got out of our first box, we got the regular art. Now here we got one up to that with the um, Full Art version. Very cool. So we technically had two, two hits there, one Hollow Rare one uh, Full Art V card, which is cool, one Ultra Rare. So, so that's kind of fun. Um, let's get on to the next box, though. Oh my gosh, we got another Colossal. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, this one, you know what? I already have one in the prize supports, so we're, we're actually going to open this Evolutions pack just for the sake of seeing if there's something different in this one. So, obviously, we have the Colossal line. We got the Quick Ball, the Hop, the Milo, the Dan. Okay, so our, our trainer cards are different. Uh, we got the Wish Cash line. Oh, and then we have a Lightning partner here with Luxray, Luxio, and Shink. So, actually, if that other one that we didn't open had the same partner with it, uh, pulling that, that extra Shinx and extra Luxray would have been, like, broken. That would have been super, super good in a pre-release situation. But cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. That's cool. Let's go ahead and open our packs. We do have all four pack arts this time, which is nice. All is right in the world. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, let me give you guys a code, actually. There you go. One of these cards has like a bunch of whiting on it. That's, that's, that's kind of lame. So I think that's, you know, that's one of those things that happens if you if you have loose packaging. 
Sometimes the cards just get whiting on them. All right, we got Darkness Energy, Halucha, Morgrum, Metacham, Galarian Darumaka, Vulpix, Milkery, Galarian Farfetched, Galarian Meowth, Reverse Hollow Scyther, and Obama Snow. Fun. Very cool. All right, moving on to our Cinderace pack. Let's take a look at what we got going on. Oh, it's stuck. We'll just squeeze it out here. All right. We got a Grass Energy, Cursed Shovel, Phalanx, Palpitoad. Call for Family is like always amazing in uh, limited situations where you just get to get more Pokemon onto your bench. It's pretty awesome. Vulpix, Phantump, Galarian Farfetch'd, Squovit. Oh, Reverse Scoop of Net. That's pretty cool. That counts as a hit. Boom. And Oon Pheasant. That's really cool. Scoop of Net is uh, pretty hardcore. Um, it's a great card. Got a lot of uses. Anytime we can get Reverse Hollows of great trainer cards, I will not complain about it. It's pretty cool. All right. Lightning Energy. Hatrum. Pokeball. Lampant. Bunnelby. Vulpix. Phantomp. Galarian Farfetch'd. Binacle. Reverse Hollow Electrode and Sigilyph. Worth pointing out that Orb Collector is actually a pretty decent attack. Search your deck for up to three energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Especially in a limited situation, I think Electrode would actually be pretty decent. And then you're already playing uh, Lightning Energy too, so if you're playing that particular pack. All right, no hits out of this box yet. Hopefully the last pack will redeem us. We got Water Energy, Capture Energy, which is awesome, Chatot, which is awesome. Both of those would be really good. Dracloak, Galeria Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Barbawash, Aracuda, Stuffle, Metapod, and Flapple. Cool. Flapple's good. Um, it's not, not a V, but it's, it's fun. It's cool. And it is a hollow rare, so we'll put it up there in the lineup. Okay, we got our last box. Last box. Let's take a look at what we get out of here. It's a Flapple. Hey, cool. That's two Flapples in a row. Um, so Flapple is actually pretty interesting. It has Apple Drop uh, once during your turn. You can choose to place two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you'd like, I think. Or is it on one? It's on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And uh, then it just gets shuffled into your deck. So there's our Flapple. Oh, it comes with a Turfield Stadium. That's broken. Turfield Stadium just lets you search for it. Oh my gosh, and, and it comes with the... Uh, Instant Evolve Caterpie Metapod. That that seems really strong. Trubbish is apparently in every Evolutions pack. Impidimp and the Grimstar All Line. Pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and stick Flapple. So we did pull three Colossals, which kind of stinks because it means that we will not be getting our other, our other, um, our other promo. So that's too bad. Um, at least in this video. And and uh, basically. The other one is Garboder, just so you guys know. It is Garboder, it has really cool art, and Garboder is a pretty decent card. It just poisons, like when you have a stadium, you can just poison something, which is pretty sweet. Um, special conditions are kind of shaping up to be more popular. Um, Toxtrous DV Max needs things to be poisoned, so you play it with Garboder. But anyway, Fighting Energy, Metapod, Tool Scrapper, great card, Dan, Phantump, Galarian Farfetch'd, Squovit. Glare and Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Burning Scarf, and a Rainbow Oleana. Yeah, you would definitely play that. You you pretty much always play all of your supporter cards that you get in a limited environment. But Oleana is kind of cool. You get to just uh, discard two cards from your hand, and then your opponent reveals you can put a trainer card on the bottom of their deck from their hand. So you just get to get rid of one of their trainer cards which is pretty sweet in a limited environment too. They probably only have one or two trainer cards in their hand, so you'll actually slow them down like a whole turn. So that's that's pretty sweet. Let's take a look at this next one. Oh, let's give you guys that code. Boom, right there. Hold it up so you can see it a little bit. Boom. Let's take a look. Fire Energy, Durant. Palosand, Oleana, Applin, Galarian Darumaka, Bunnelby, Vulpix, Phantom, 
Hatterene, and look at that, Full Art Double V. This would be a good box. If you guys got this box, uh, that would be pretty amazing. Uh, Double V is a really great Pokemon. It uh, is less good in a limited because you only play with four prize cards, but Revenge Blast says this does 30 damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Uh, but then the ability makes it take 30 less damage from attacks, which is really good. It's already a basic V that has 210, which is already beefy. And then it also takes 30 less from attacks. As far as I'm concerned, it's the beefiest V Pokemon. All right, here we go. We got Psychic, Lampent, Galar Mine. Very nice. Bronzong, Toxel, Applin, Galarian Darumaka, Bunnelby, Vulpix. Really miscut. Reverse Hollow Masquerade, which is cool. I love miscut cards. And Barrascuta, which is actually a pretty good Pokemon. And I think we got an Eric an Eric right? Eracuda, I think we got earlier. So maybe you'd go right that route. Uh cool. Alright. Our last pack. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. I will definitely be giving you this pack. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. There's the pack. Boom. Um, thank you so much for your support of the channel. Let's take a look at this last pack. We got Metal Energy, Milo, Shuckle, Luxio, Nosepass, Wingle, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Reverse Hollow Cramorant, and Greedence. Yes, yeah, so like if I was playing that, I would definitely go uh, the water route with having Cramorant too. Like I would do, I would do, what was the promo in that pack? Flapple. I would do like grass and water. Um, and, uh, just, just get going, you know, with Dub Wall, Oleana, slow him down. Pretty sweet. So let's take a look at our highlight reel. All right. We'll put those in the back. Yeah. Cool. So here's our promos that we ended up with. We got Flapple, we got Colossal, and we got Luxray. Fortunately, no Garboder. That's all right. We'll get them next time. We got Flapple, Scoop of Net. Then we got our, uh, Ultra Rares. We got a Rainbow Oleana. Full Art Double V, Regular Dragapult V, Regular Copperaja V, and a Full Art Dragapult V. So um, here's the spread. There were five boxes. So one of the boxes was um, didn't have any Ultra Rares in it. And then three of them had one Ultra Rare, and then one of them had two. So I, I would still say that that's kind of increased... Uh, like that they are like a little, there's increased value in these, I think, because even like if one out of four is a hit on an ultra rare, that's, I think that's a little bit, yeah, that's a little bit better than, uh, booster boxes are and stuff like that. Um, of course there are still packs where you don't get an ultra rare and like that just kind of sucks if you get one of those, but I like these products. I think they're cool. They retail for twenty dollars in stores. Some some places do try to get a little bit more than twenty, but the the, the suggested retail price is twenty dollars for each one. Um, of course, if you're playing at an event, they're going to charge you more than twenty bucks because they're probably giving out prizes and stuff, and that's normal. That's a good thing. You're probably getting a better deal in a, in a situation where you're paying like like I pay thirty dollars, and then everybody gets three packs, so twenty dollar box, and then you basically get three for ten on your packs, which is a pretty good deal. And plus taxes included in that. So so that that's pretty good. But they do retail for $20. Sometimes you can get them a little bit cheaper, especially later in the life of the set or later after the next set. And I do think that that is uh, a pretty pretty decent value for your packs. If you think $4 a pack, you're looking at 16 bucks just for the four packs that are in there. Plus they're generally a little bit elevated as far as their pull rates. And uh, it, depending upon what's in the evolution packs, that might that might bump it up to be worth it. Like we got quick balls in two of ours. Um, Colossal, it seems like a cool card. Flapple seems like a cool card. Um, Luxray seems like an okay card if you really like Luxray. And Garboder seems like a playable card too. So I love these, especially if you can get them on sale a little bit for like, you know, 15. If you can get them for 15 bucks, that's really good. Um, so I would definitely say if you can get them for the price of the packs, the retail price of the packs, so $4 per pack times four would be 16. If you can get them for $16 or less, this is a must pick up. Um, I like doing my pulling out of these. Uh, which is why I made this video for you guys. But hey, you tell me what you think. What, what's the favorite card that we pulled here? That's a tough question for me. I don't know. I might have to say our Full Art Double V because I love that card. But um, let me know what your favorite pull was from these. And then also, 
if you opened any of these yourself, what, what did you pull that was cool? You know, do you like these boxes? If so, what do you like about them? All that goes right in the comment section. Thank you guys for participating in the Rebel Clash giveaway. It was so much fun to do. And uh, I'm going to be continuing to bring the content. I'm sure we'll do vid uh, more giveaways later on in the life of the channel. So definitely stay tuned for more cool content. But hey, until that time, keep doing your Pokemon thing, and I'll see you soon.